Alright, we're going to draw the pedestal table on Fusion 360, so make sure you have Fusion open. You can use this video, uh, this tutorial guide, so pause it when you need to. Do your drawing on Fusion and continue playing for each step in the process. So we're going to draw each part, so we'll draw the feet, we'll draw the legs, we'll draw the tabletop, etc. And then we'll join it all together. So we will be referring, for the feet, we will be referring to this quite frequently, so it might be worth your while now to take a screenshot of this. Uh, these various points and these dimensions used to find, to define some of the arcs and the curves that are used. So if you take a screenshot of that, you can easily refer back to it. The other one that you should take a screenshot of is this one. Now, that looks extremely complex. The way we're going to draw it is a lot more simple than that. But if you feel like a challenge, take a screenshot and see how you go uh, referring to that. Again, there's lots of arcs and things called splines. There's arcs and half circles, etc. Uh, I have quite a few of these dashed lines they are construction lines. So whenever you draw a line, you can click on the line. For instance, if I click on that line, then I click construction, it will turn it into a construction line. So turn that off. We'll leave that the way it is. So I'll be referring to these from time to time. And uh, you can if you've taken a screenshot you can refer to it in your drawing. So we'll start off with the feet. So we'll create a sketch. I'll choose one of these two vertical planes. Start there. And okay. 85 and 5. So two lines there. I think I might start with a rectangle actually. So rectangle tool. Start at the origin. 5 by 85. Enter. Uh, circle 70 diameter. So, circle tool, centre diameter. Just place it somewhere, it doesn't really matter where for now. Probably just not on that red line. And type in 70, that's the diameter. Press enter twice. Now we need to place it in those positions. 165 away from that line and 19 below that little line there. So we're going to use the dimension tool. That's right down the bottom here, or I could have hit press D on the keyboard. So there it is, sketch dimension. So from from this little line, click once, go over to the centre of the circle, click again, and we'll just move this over here somewhere, click, and type in 19, press enter. Let's just move that circle from this line down to this point it wants to be 165. Press enter. Let me jump back. Okay, one big arc, that's tangent to the circle. Let's see how we go doing that. Okay, this arc needs to be tangent to the circle and tangent to that little line. So, up here we've got an arc, we've got a three point arc. And, whoops, what have I done? Let's press escape, let's do that again. Arc, three point arc. So, one, yeah, click in the corner to start, hit arc, then over here somewhere on the circle, make sure it snaps to the circle, click, and move your cursor up until you see that little tangent symbol appear over here, and when it does, click. Next thing we need to do, I'm going to press escape so it goes back to the 
the normal cursor. I'm going to click on that arc that we just drew. Click the tangent button over here on my sketch palette, and then click the circle. That will adjust that to be tangent. So now we've got tangent in both places. Let me jump back. All right. So we need to set. It looks like an arc that's tangent there. That's at 100 from the line and 30 above that little line. All right, we can do that. So we're going to go back to the arc tool. Three point arc. And just we we'll just click somewhere out here in space. Click once. Click on the circle, and just try and get that bend happening, uh, an internal bend, and click. Don't do anything else for now. But I'm going to click Escape. I'm going to click on that arc. Click the tangent button click on the circle, we've now got tangency there, I'll just refer back to here, 30 up, 100, uh, the dimension button, sketch dimension, click once, click on, click on that line, over to this point, this should be 30 from this edge to the point this should be 100 and guys if you make a mistake with this it's very easy to undo and go back to where you were right, we've got another arc to draw from this point from that corner to here this time it, uh, it looks upwards and yeah I think if we get tangency up there that's going to look pretty good that shape looks good we've got 85 here a 70 diameter there and two arcs uh, and look one thing you can do if you don't like the look of this we possibly with the sketch dimension we can change the radius of uh, things here so uh, I would have to delete that to do that but anyway whoops I'll just undo I was happy with how it looked there All right we need to trim which I could have pressed T on the keyboard trim let's well, let's get rid of that edge and the inside of that circle we should be left with a shaded shape we click stop sketch then I'll just go back to the normal view All right, we're ready to extrude that extrude we the profile it's asking what profile do you want to extrude I want to extrude that profile what distance so I could drag this but it's much easier just to type 19 press enter it's nearly done let's create a fillet and I could have used F on the keyboard fillet what edges do you want to fillet so we'll go through and select and did that yeah that one ran all the way around and these edges they're not going to be these at all must be square on the ends and a distance of probably three yeah three is okay four Yeah, I think I actually I like four a bit better. Click OK. That's one foot done. So you can save that now.